What is up everyone? Cycling Boo is back again and we're doing another race this time. I hope you're all doing great. I'm kinda doing great but yeah. Let's see. In this video you will see me suffer a lot. Today I'm doing stage 4 of the Slovenian Swift League. As you know that started already a month ago and it's been a great journey until now. I'm learning each and every time and I'm really liking this to be honest. If you haven't checked the previous races, you can click on the right top corner and start with stage 1. Some interesting things happen during the races, so go check them out. However, today's stage is two laps of the 2018 UCI World's Short Lap, which features 23.6 kilometers and 487 meters of ascent per lap. 420 of those meters are coming from the 7.4 kilometers long climb with average gradient of 5.4%. Of and me saying this you can already know and understand when I'm gonna be struggling. The start this time was quite slow but it was expected since all of the riders had to preserve every single drop of power for the climb. Except of the climb the whole lap was flat and uh, my initial plan was to keep up with the strongest riders on the first lap and to try and break with them so that I can build a gap with the guys from the guys behind and uh, even if I drop at the second climb comfortably to stay ahead and get a better finishing position of course. Usually my FTP is 313 and based on that I knew that I should be able to sustain around 330 watts for the climb which had to be more or less 2 times 20 minutes of 105% FTP intervals for the race. Unfortunately, I have never done such workout and I wasn't sure how my body will hold up. And also, my initial plan as I already told you was to keep up with the strongest guys and for the first 5.5 kilometers of, of the climb, my average power was around 360 and this was too much for me. But in my will to keep up with the strongest riders, I got delusional about the power that I can sustain. I wasn't following how much output I'm putting. And here is where I felt toasted. There was this sudden drop in performance and I couldn't help it. It was just unbearable also because my average heart rate for the whole climb was 180 beats per minute. And even though when I got dropped and I had to keep lower my, uh, I was expecting my heart rate to get lower, it didn't, it stayed as high as it was before. And because of that initial drop in power and me feeling like my legs will melt at some point, there was this second group of riders that just blast past me and as much as I wanted to get on the wheel of the last guy, I just couldn't, my leg was just, my leg was just not there. I managed to complete the ride, the climb, for 18 uh, minutes and 41 seconds, but at the end I waited for the third group of riders so that I am not alone on the descent, because I really needed to have someone to draft from and to try to recover as much as I can. After the descent, with 30 kilometers to go, we managed to catch up a small group of three riders and that was basically the formation uh, that we kept until the second climb. Here I was trying to recover as much as I can still because I wasn't really sure if I would manage to finish the race. 
and those climbs really screw me over and I've concluded that I need to focus more on my training plan on sustaining high but consistent power for a longer period of time. I think my endurance, my long term endurance on the higher end, it's, it's lacking quite a lot and this is what robs me from uh, better results in the races. If it is a punchy climb I have strong legs and I perform better but with short power periods but on the long steady climb I, I really suck. And here I'm jumping on the more or less the middle of the second climb. This time around though I decided not to follow people but to sustain the power that I knew I, I'm capable of sustaining. And yes, I got dropped once more, but I believe that it is more important to finish the race strong instead of me uh, backing off and actually just cruising until the end. And then, something magical happened. My legs just miraculously came back. With 15 kilometers to go, I have no idea what happened, but my, but probably my body finally over, overcome that um, shock of the first climb and restarted itself. You can see how I completely demolished those two guys that just one kilometer before were 70 seconds ahead of me. I really cannot explain what ex happened exactly, but once I felt energized again and my legs started spinning better and better, I, you can see here, I'm climbing again with 100 and, uh, 380 watts. Just mental. It was just mental what happened here. Here uh, I'm just jumping a little bit on the descent, so just to show you that uh, the gap has risen between me and the guys in front to two minutes, uh, yeah, you can see on the right side, but I didn't give up. I kept on pushing until the end of the race. With my new legs, I believe that I can catch them towards the end and make a better, um, better finish, finish higher. So jumping now to the last two kilometers, and those last two kilometers were a time trial for me. I was eating the gap between me and the guys in front and even though there were no points involved I wanted to prove to myself that I can get them. I was spinning as much as I can, I was pushing it really really hard although I already had those two climbs and at the end actually it was so close. They started sprinting and I was still chasing them and I was still lowering the gap but at the end it was just not enough. It came down to 6 seconds after I was 2 minutes behind on the, on the descent and that's how much my legs came back. It was, it was really amazing but second uh, 22nd place on the road and 17th place afterwards in the official results uh, kind of okay let's say but still after i checked the classification i kept my 29th place overall and apparently i was promoted to 14th place because i won two points at the end you can see here on the screen and another positive thing was that i got a new ftp I yes. was so much looking forward for this particular climb, for this particular race because I knew that I'm gonna push myself really hard and I was expecting this to happen and at the end I managed to get it. Overall solid performance and I managed to reduce the damage which made me happy. Thank you guys once more for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video since this really is helping me. See you next week at stage 5. Bye bye.